This video today is on organizing your Google Drive. So why is it important to organize your Google Drive? Uh, two important reasons. Number one, it saves time. And two, it allows you to prioritize the important files from the unimportant files each year. So there's a few steps. First, of course, you have to open your Google Drive. You should never just try to go to Google Docs. It's always better to find things in your Google Drive. Um, you should create and name all of your folders and also number them, okay? Color your folders. Then you'll be able to add files to your folder. Make sure that at the end of the year, you have saved all work from each school year in a single school year folder. Then um, when you graduate, you will have all of your years and it will be easy to save them to a flash drive. So let's take a look at how we do this. I'm gonna take you in from a Google screen, but when you're on your Chromebook, you should automatically be able to get into your Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. Um, I already made a sample folder for you. So I have numbered it and labeled it 001, 2023, 2024 school year. To do this, you will simply click up top on new. You make a new folder and then you name it and you put a number. And I would always put one because one is going to register as the first thing you'll see in your folder for numbers. Once you have your folder created, you can go inside that folder and make more folders. So you will notice I have colored and numbered all of my courses for this year. So, and I put them in the order of periods that I have them. So my period one is honors English, my period two is geometry, my period three is biology, four is health, five college and career readiness, six Spanish, seven world history, eight art. And then you'll notice there's a volleyball folder. So I'm a student who's in sports. So volleyball is one of my sports. I can also add folders for any activities I'm in and I can create a miscellaneous folder. To color your folders, it's really easy. You just click on the dots. You can also change the name. You can pick any colors you want. And once you've done all this, I would always make sure you open your folder. And if it's something for English class, you will create a folder right in there. So you'll click the, always go to your new button. This time I'm gonna make a new Google Docs. You never wanna just go to um, Google Docs to create docs. I would always create them in a folder that is organized. So it's that simple. That's all you need to know about organizing your folder. Good luck.